Hello everyone, welcome back to DNA Biosense. Today's topic is the glyosylate cycle. So it is the conversion of fats into carbohydrates. So we know that in case of beta oxidation, the fatty acids are broken down into the acetyl coenzyme, correct? So generally, you can say that the glycosylate cycle reactions are very similar to the Krebs cycle reaction. So the uh, first step is the oxaloacetic acid, which is a four carbon compound. It binds with acetyl coenzyme and form the citrate. And the enzyme required for this reaction is citrate synthetase. The next step is the formation of isocitrate. It required the enzyme I Ecotini dehydrates and then comes the actual reaction of glyogylate cycle. So here the isocitrate cleaved into glyosylate and the succinate. So the in the fourth step the glyosylate it binds with another acetyl coenzyme to form the malate and the enzyme required for this reaction is malic synthetis. Then the malate by the help of malic dehydrogenase it forms the oxaloacetic acid okay and here the succinate it follows the normal Krebs cycle reaction it for and form the oxaloacetic acid so the glyosylate cycle it is found only in the plants and the microorganisms it generally absent in the animals why because in the animals they leak the two enzymes that is the isocytrate lyase and the malate synthetase okay so the isocytrate lyase main function is to cleave the isocytrate into the glyosylate and the succinate and the malate synthetase is required from the malic acid formation so this is all about the glyosylate cycle it is the formation of carbohydrates by the fatty acids thank you i hope it makes sense to you if you like this video hit the like button and subscribe to my channel to get notified with new videos thanks a lot